It's Friday. Time for another weekly update. Last Saturday, I stopped by the FIRST Robotics Smoky Mountains Regional Championships at the Thompson Bowling Arena. There were 51 teams present, including about a half dozen from Knox County, as well as a team from Canada and one from Germany. Congratulations to the LNN Steampunks, that's actually STEM punks, S-T-E-M, punks, who made it all the way to the final round of the competition. Great job, guys. Also on Saturday, I cut the ribbon at the Friends of the Knox County Library's annual used book sale at the Jacob Building in Chahoy Park. This year's sale featured over 50,000 books to choose from. I read to a couple of classes at Gibbs Elementary, held our monthly constituent one-on-one -on -one meetings at the uh, Cedar Bluff Library, and went to an open house at the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation's Knoxville Environmental Field Office to meet their staff and learn about their operations. This month's Knox County Employees of the Month are Turk Hahn from Parks and Rec and Eric Hewitt from Engineering and Public Works. Thanks to Turk and Eric for their hard work in serving the people of Knox County. This week's Eat and Greet was at Bel Air Grill and Halls. Next week, I'll be at the Aubrey's on Middlebrook on Tuesday, April 9th at 1230. Aubrey's is one of the participating restaurants in this year's Dine Out for Education. Participating restaurants donate 10% of their proceeds from the day's receipts to the Partners in Education program, which helps students and teachers in a number of ways, such as mobile screening vans, research tools for school libraries, and career day. The schools are looking to raise at least $25,000 this year, and you can help by enjoying breakfast, lunch, or dinner at one of their restaurant partners. For a full list of participating restaurants, go to knoxschools.org slash D-O-F-E. Again, that's this coming Tuesday, April 9th. Finally, I'd like to share a, a very big picture kind of uh, thing that's been on my mind. As you who follow these videos know, several churches in Knoxville have formed a network to help combat the drug epidemic that our area is experiencing. I was invited to speak to their group this week and more importantly, to listen to their thoughts and hear what they're doing. As I listened, I was struck by a couple of thoughts. One was how we often expect government to fix things that government doesn't have the tools to do. And in many cases, things that it's not government's role to step in to try to fix. These are things that we should be working on as families, as communities, as churches and other organizations and institutions. The other was a quote by the British statesman and abolitionist William Wilberforce that one of the pastors mentioned. When speaking about slavery before the British House of Commons, Wilberforce told them, you may choose to look the other way, but you can never say again that you did not know. There are a lot of wonderful organizations that could use volunteers, money, and resources. I think that many of us just assume that someone else is taking care of it. I know that I often have. The fact is that too many of us think like that. I would encourage you to look for ways that you can get involved in our community and then give of your time and if you're able, your resources. We have a great community, but we can make it better. And by we, I don't mean government. I mean you and me. Until next Friday, I hope that you all have a great and a safe week.